Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video on my channel, and welcome to Mauritania. So, in this video, you might be able to guess what we're doing, but we are currently on the mound for Arams and Linza, and we are at the Barrows Brothers. Now, the Barrows Brothers is still one of the best lower level to mid level bosses for money making in RS3, and that's still after so many years of it being in the game. Now, it has changed slightly differently from before, and it has got some great quality of life updates as well which now makes Barrows a little bit easier and a little bit more free-flowing than before. So to do this Barrows guide, this is going to be more of a high-level guide, but it can work from low-level, mid-level to high-level as well. So for this high-level guide, it's roughly making over 10 mil profit per hour, and this is based off you doing 18 runs per hour. There's going to be some slight quest requirements, which is going to actually make more brothers or Barrows brothers ancestors for you to kill, and this is going to be Akrasay and Linda. So originally, if you're a lower level and you haven't done the quest, you'll just kill the original six, no issue at all. But if you have Ritual of the Majorat unlocked and done, Accuracy will be viable. And if you've done Kindred Spirits, Linda will also be in the Brothers list. So as a total, you have eight Brothers which you can slay and eight Brothers you can get different forms of armors from. Another quest which is quite worthwhile doing is Branches of Darkmere, which is worth doing anyway for your account build because it has some massive weapons, massive XP, and also it gives you a Dragon's Medallion Battalion to the Barrows. If you have the kill count though, you can use Wars Retreat and you can also bank it Wars after every sort of run. That's probably the best way as well is to bank after every run, recharge your prayer and then come back and do your Barrows run from there. Now in terms of items you're going to need, I'm going to run through my setup really quick but it's nothing too major. Now if you're on the lower level, by all means downgrade your armors and your weapons. I found the Necromancy works really well. And that's probably the combat style which I'd recommend for you to use. You are more than able to kill Barrows from level 70 to 80 stats. And as long as you've got a similar sort of level of weapon, basically with Barrows, it'll just take you a little bit longer. If you're a lower level, it'll take you a little bit longer to go through all the bosses, take you a little bit longer to do all the brothers and all that sort of stuff. But you're still more than capable of doing it. In terms of methods for killing the brothers, if you are a lower level, I would simply suggest just to stun Darok. Because that's the only boss which will really give you major trouble. Everything else is pretty normal. So from my setup, if you're a low level, just bring more sharks, bring more prayer potions. And I still suggest using more to bank after every kill. And you can make sure you've got all the supplies you need and you really shouldn't struggle. Now Barrows, you're not able to take summoning familiars. So there's no tortoise or bunyip familiars allowed into the area. So talking through my invo and what I've got. So Barrows amulets actually allow you to kill three brothers per run. Now, they do cost 90k, so they are a little bit pricey. And to be fair, with necromancy and how it damages, you shouldn't really need them anyway. The brothers which are recommended for you to do is Akrasay, Arim, and Carol. Linza actually can't be killed via Barra's amulets. And really, for efficient runs, Linza is recommended, unless you're going after the log, to skip for the time being, just because of how awful of a sort of brother she is to kill. She's very tanky, she has a lot of HP, and she really is the longest of the eight bosses to kill after that and um, pretty much your best sort of armor for whatever combat style you're using i'm taking armor and weapons which are way too overpowered for this but whatever you've got is really good to use anyway overloads just because it keeps my stats up again take your best boost in potion excalibur for a little bit of heals not that you ever really need it again if you do struggle a vampirism aura will pretty much see you through this easy if you are on the lower level some prayer potions is food, just as an emergency, never really need them. And by the time I've finished the run, I just go to wars, recharge, and then come back. In terms of the drops, what you're going to receive are the four runes and bot racks, and you're also going to receive the Barrow's Totem. Now, the Barrow's Totem is what you, you use for a rise of a six kill, so that's what that's there for. And then see, in terms of the rune price, especially like Chaos being 160, Death's at 280, and Blood's at 670, actually pretty good. And if you have the ability to have the Mauritania Hard Diary done, you do have a chance of doubling your runes as well, and it's also easy banking from the chest as well, which is pretty nice. As well as that, from the loot, barrow items pretty much range from sort of 1 to 6 mil. Um, with a couple of other weapons, actually, the Arim staff is 15 mil for whatever reason, I have no idea. But they are very consistent in terms of their price. You do also have as well the Amulet of the Forsaken, which is a price of 21.5 mil, and which will really add like profits onto your runs as well, especially if you get one nice and early. Now, the Barrows is also one of the biggest boss collection logs as well. As you can see here, this is the Barrows collection log for the Graver of a Title, and you need to get every one of these drops. So it's a massive collection log if you are looking to do it. And if you are looking to do it, please make sure to do Linda kills from the start because that could be the one which could catch you out and you don't want to be grinding for a Linda piece. But apart from that, that is pretty much everything that is to Barrows. Um, you can follow whatever sort of rotation you want to do anyway. I'm going to do a couple of runs just to show you what sort of profit you're going to get from certain chests. 
I'm going to skip Linda for all these chests though, just because it is a bit of a pain to kill her. But I'm going to start on Aaron because I've already actually done a Darok kill. And as you can see with Necromancy, it really just like doesn't take a lot. So this is Linda and the one I'm going to skip just because of the sheer HP it takes to actually kill Linda. Now the reason you can do 18 barrage chests an hour is because the brothers die very easy, but it's all about efficiency of movement. Now if you are good with surging and diving and doing all that sort of stuff, do that between the brothers to make sure you're moving as quickly as possible. That's how you're going to get the maximum kills per hour, is moving quickly. So Akrasay, I can show you how to use the amulet. Just use the amulet on there. Oh, it's my tunnel, never mind. We'll do it on the next one, just so I can show you properly. Go to Torax. And everyone has their own way of running through the brothers. Right, so use the amulet, and you can see here, you hear a cry from the sarcophagus as you've murdered that poor innocent ghost. Then we'll move on to Karil. And again, Barrows hasn't changed. You still have to go around and kill the brothers. Now, because there's so many brothers now, as long as you get seven of the eight brothers, you have enough loot potential to be able to loot straight away. So you don't need to kill any creatures in the in the catacombs. You don't need to like build up your KC. You can loot from seven and you will have maximum loot potential. So you recognize this. And because of RS3, you're able to zoom out and find all the routes you're going to need to. This is basically the Barrows catacombs. So you need to get to the chest in the middle, and because you are limited by the doors, you need to work your way through the door network to find the best way to get to the middle. And basically, all you got to do is hover over all the doors to find out which way you've got to go. At any point, though, the boss can actually jump out and attack you. Well, by, when I say boss, I mean the brother. Apart from Akrase, which is the one we've got, where if you do struggle because of its protect prayers because of the style you're using, just keep running and it will still meet you at the chest. You can still use your Barrow's amulet and use it on the chest as well to kill Akrase if you do want to as well. So there's our door. It's still the same puzzles they've always been. There's only three puzzles as well. And if you're struggling, use the wiki because it's got a really good way of breaking it down. So if you've got a Barrow's Amulet, just use it on the chest. And they can see the cry echoes. And we're going to get 179k, which, hey, can't moan at that. So then all it is is literally a teleport to war. Just recharge your prayer, and whether you want to do it via the portal or for me, I'm going to be lazy and do the medallion because it's quicker, and then go straight back to Barrows and basically repeat. Like I said before, though, 18 runs per hour is what the wiki says is the optimum run. By all means, you can do it quicker. Um, it just depends on how you transfer between the bosses. That's where time is gained and lost, is by how quick you are jumping from the bosses. Now, in terms of Barrows, I've actually got a very different video coming out about Barrows. Um, it's something I've been working on for months, but I've just been doing other stuff so it's never really got to the point it's going to be completed but it's very much on the list to do by the end of the year it's going to be a loot video from barrows with a slight twist with an item which has been pretty much outdated so that is on its way as well and hopefully we can make a little bit of um, money there and hopefully we can make a bit of log progress because as you can see i've only really got two items so i've only had three items and one was a dupe so yeah standard look so what i'm going to do for the end of this video though i'm going to go and do a couple more chests hopefully we can pick up an item and i can show you guys my fancy new piece of barrows armor and then uh, we'll wrap up from there and do some last things for barrows so let's do a chest loot and oh 62k not the best but the runes do rack up so that is the third one we've done so far and we're pretty much yeah, let's see what we are price check wise Obviously, once we get drops, that's what will really ramp it up. But for three runs, this is where we currently are. Not terrible. So, next chest, we're going to get 112k. Slightly better. Um, again, racking up. Right, this is the next chest. And we are going to get... Once the skeleton goes that way. So, it's going to be another rune set again. 141k. We'll take that for the invo. Um, because of the perk for Warcraft Hunt, I'm just going to go straight back to Barrows. So that is going to be it for this Barrows video. Now, I haven't gone mad on the Barrows chest because there will be a video coming out over Christmas time relating to a Barrows loot video. It's got an item which really isn't used in the game anymore because it's kind of discontinued. So I want to show you guys me using it basically. To the point, I can't use it anymore. So that will be coming soon. So plenty of Barrow loot videos here. I just wanted to talk through the Barrow sort of method, what quests you can do to make it more profitable, how profitable it is. Once again, it is roughly about 10, 10.6 mil per hour. And again, the amulet of the force taken is a drop, which really does bump up the price. But the majority of the Barrow items now are pretty much between one to six mil and room prices are up. So again, just go through the recommendations. Definitely do the hard Mauritania achievements if you can, because that will give you double runes. Ritual of the Magirat for Accuracy, if you wanted to do Accuracy, and Kindred Spirits for Linda, but I will be skipping Linda in the runs anyway. 
But this is definitely something you can do from level 70 to 80 combat stats. Um, as long as you're confident, use your prayers as well. And with that rock, make sure to stun it before killing the boss as well. That is the only one you're really going to struggle with. But make sure to use and abuse War or the Dragon's Medallion to teleport out, refresh your supplies and your invo, and then teleport straight back to Barrows as well. So hey guys, enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Very close to 3,000 subscribers, which we're trying to get for for the end of the year. Thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.